Hi, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store. Welcome back. We are in the Southern Ukulele Store within the Absolute Music Centre, Ringwood Road, Bournemouth. If you've not visited our new shop and you are visiting the area, please do stop by, have a cup of coffee and say hello. Today we are going to look at the new Flight A10 ukulele. It's been in stock for a couple of weeks. I've not had enough time recently to film videos. I'm making up for that right now because this ukulele is going to blow your mind. Look at this absolutely stunning piece of wood actually lots of different pieces of wood put together this has a quilted maple top with quilted mahogany back and sides look at the mahogany you don't see mahogany like this very often the bot even the bottom of this ukulele is so nicely figured you have a high gloss finish for the body with a mahogany neck the neck is also very nicely figured with all of the A10s, you have a unique slotted headstock. It's more of a traditional slotted headstock than you get on the normal flight ukuleles. It does produce a slightly tighter angle than a normal flight ukulele, which I think creates a bit more tension, maybe a bit more sustain. You have a 38mm nut width with a 30mm string spacing, so nice and wide, chunky in the hand, which is what so many people are looking for these days, particularly if they're finger style players. I like that it has the block offset inlays, so big inlays, but off set so when you look down you can't help but see where you're at and there are side dots as well just to accompany those which is a nice touch um, with the flight a10s and also just going back a few series to the comets and the fireballs you get this hot dog style fret where the fret is very tall and very thin and it creates a slightly more accurate intonation it's much it's a very modern technique really in the grand scheme of things that you used to see on electric guitars but not so much on acoustic instruments. I've noticed with flight ukuleles that they produce both at that kind of 500 pound price point all the way up to the A10s, you have this tall, very light fret, very easy to play. The A10s are produced in very, very small numbers. You really don't see that many of them. It's funny, really, we're, we're approaching the 15th anniversary of flight now. Because of COVID, they lost a couple of years. So in many respects, I think this is probably the last generation of the A10s. And next year, they'll do something special like the A15 or something a bit different. But the anniversary series ukuleles are made by a single luthier. Or um, I think with the A10 quilted maples and, and flame maples, sometimes they're produced by a very small team of two or three luthiers. Lots of details are hand inlaid, including this rosette and lovely thick abalone rosette, ebony fingerboard and bridge. It's a pin bridge with a really cool inlay on the bridge as well. You have a comfort edge armrest, so it's very, very comfortable when you're in the pub and you're going, look at my ukulele, isn't it cool? You also have a beveled scoop cutaway, very De Silva-like, really reminds me of a De Silva ukulele, but clearly very influenced by that kind of builder. A high gloss finish for the body with a satin neck. It's just bloody gorgeous. And if you want a purple ukulele, I feel like this is Flight's way of having a go at us for making the pony ukulele with Big Island by coming out with something that's just unapologetically purple and royal and regal. It's just awesome. Let's give it a play and see what you think. <laughs> 